Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP ABAP project. In this project, we will be exploring interactive report program in ABAP. And there are few prerequisites like ABAP interactive report events, which will be very important to understand the entire program. Then we have something called PF status. The basic knowledge of it will be very helpful. And then we will be using perform and forms. So this is also a very basic part of SAP ABAP. Okay, so we'll jump to the website. So there's a website called gocoding.org. We'll provide the link of the same in the description. So this particular page describes the entire report. So your task will be to copy the code just like this. Also, you can explore uh, the content here where, where everything that we are going to learn will be explained. So we'll jump to SAP ABAP editor and create a report called Z interactive demo fine and we'll see interactive report in description and it will be executable program and it will be a local object perfect the code is already copied hence i'll paste it out check for error activate so for your information, there are three Z tables included. The details of these tables will be added in the description. I will just uh, showcase you the fields. The very first table is Z Barry EMP, where we have basic employee fields like employee name, employee last name, date of birth, gender, and other fields. And employee ID is the main uh, field here, which is a key also and type of info. If the second uh, table will be Z Barry salary. And it is something that consists of uh, you know basic salary structure. So the field name is not very important, but the keys should be similar in all the tables. So if I just uh, jump to the Z Barry address table, again the employee ID is a common field here, and all other fields are the common basic fields in any address table. Yeah, so these are the tables that we have used. Apart from that, there is something called PF status which will be not enabled by default. So you need to double click on that. Just uh, give any description here. And the important part will be to have a functional key F2. So it should be called pick. And apart from that in application toolbar, we'll add something called back. Back button is something that will be used to navigate, you know, back uh, from one page to another page. This we are adding as a custom page in application toolbar. Okay, so I might have chosen wrong icon and any field. Yeah, so it will be something like this. This is an application toolbar. In this uh, section, you will see the back button. Perfect. Save it out, activate it. These two are uh, the changes that we have done in PF status. Remember to change it out, otherwise you will not be able to double click on that. Apart from that, one more uh, thing you need to consider is these two fields, F value and F value one. So what happens every time you click on employee ID, it employee ID is fetched using the uh, events of interactive report. So the, the main way is like get cursor field, F, na F name and value F value. So these are the fields that we have created. So this particular field holds the uh, name of the, the field, but this is the field that holds the value of the field that you have clicked. So in our case, this will hold employee ID and this will hold the number of employee ID. So if the field type here F value is not similar to the field that we are clicking, suppose the plan is to click employee ID then the type should be int4 for these two, you know, f well and f well one If we are planning to click on the names of the employees, then it could it can be similar to char20. So this has to be uh, considered, otherwise you will get uh, issues like uh, no, wrong field type and all. So we'll trigger the report, check it out the content, and then come back and discuss the uh, code once again. So yeah, so one more thing is like uh, the, uh, the parameter name or you can see the selection screen perform name so 
the name is not coming as required so we'll jump to this and employ id range and save it out activate it go back and run the app yeah so you can choose the employee id range we have two employees in our database so chosen just one and two so rudra mani pandey and mohammad sakib siddiqui so the, this is the basic employee details being fetched from the first table if i double click on here nothing will happen actually uh, i have not handled the error so the exception has ha happened so reason is being is like uh, if you remember i told you you need to have similar field name that you are clicking so the names were in character right and the value i'm catching is int so we'll just check it out that if i try to double click on the employee id it will work as charm right and again this is the second table for salary details uh, the content here is not important but uh, just to give an idea how exactly two three tables can be uh, like uh, added in a page wide section and again you click on that and you get something like this so it's like a, you know c c++ program we have to double click and show the details in next and next and next page something similar experience you can have in the back button we have added earlier is here similarly if i click click on double uh, the number 2 number 2 so details have changed right so this is the concept of interactive report in a map and uh, now we have added three tables right and for them we have respective internal tables and work area these four fields are used uh, to catch the employee id whenever it, you double click on that pf status is used uh, you know to have the uh, assigned buttons for uh, your custom buttons you, if you want to like have in a program select option is used to get out uh, the range part where uh, you were able to select the employee id otherwise we can use parameter if you want to just give option to choose one employee but since we want to have multiple data in the list that's why we have chosen this and uh, apart from that if i see top of page this section is used uh, if you remember we can see the name of uh, the table which table is being shown so this cannot be fetched dynamically right so based on the uh, page number we have had it uh, hard coded it so if the page number is 1 we knew that on page number 1 we will be fetching it from employee basic details so we called basic employee details page number 2 we added something else page number 3 we added something else so like this uh, things happen and this is the part like whenever you click so either will it will go to this or this so it will jump and to primary list and there it will be checked okay which particular page you are so since you have like clicked first time so it will get the employee id and based on that it will fetch the salary structure and whatever is fetched it is displayed using this code in a similar way when you clicked here to navigate to the address part the next uh, secondary list was fetched and here also the same thing happened exactly same thing just the table and field names changed so this is a very uh, simple application that uh, you can create in sap web i hope uh, it is helpful thank you very much mm -hmm.